Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Karjalainen, and it's good to have you along. You can call me this guy if my name is tricky to pronounce. Today, we're asking the question, how much should you practice? So, be right back after this intro. <laughs> Okay, so how much should you practice? Well, of course, that varies depending on where you want to get. So if you want to learn a few chords, say uh, C, G, and so on, um, you don't need that much practice compared to if you want to be able to do this. If you want to be able to do something like that, you will need to practice a bit. But here is the thing. Um, if you're asking yourself, how much do I need to practice? I think, in a way, you have the whole question backward. Because what I think you should be asking yourself is... How can I get more time to practice? Now, uh, I will get to a kind of practical tip on how much you should practice later on. But for now, I think you should be asking yourself... Um, really, how do I get more time to practice? So let's say you're... Uh, practicing 30 minutes every other day, you have tons of hobbies, you're doing schoolwork, or if you're older, you have kids, whatever, um, you have stuff happening in your life. Then I think uh, you should be asking, how can I get more time to practice, to play my instrument? Because um, if you want to become properly good, then that's the mindset that you need. Uh, you can't be asking, how much do I need uh, to practice to become properly good? Because the amount you have to practice to become properly good is enormous. It's a huge task. But the thing is, it can't feel like a huge task. It will have to feel like fun. Like I talked about in the previous video, the psychology of playing number four, where I talked about um, the importance of enjoying the journey. What you need to get is to that place where you feel, I want to play, uh, I want to play, I don't want to do this, I want to play. So um, you find what stuff can you um, kind of eliminate from your life that will make you uh, have more time with your instrument. Now, some things, of course, you can't get rid of. Uh, some things you can't get rid of entirely, but you can kind of lessen. You don't have to, uh, let's say, spend three hours in the kitchen every day making meals. You can cut down on that time and spend more time playing guitar. And some stuff you can quit entirely. Like what I did was I quit football entirely, which I also liked a lot, but I had to make a choice. Now I need to sneeze. Okay, so I did edit the sneeze. <laughs> Um, so I quit football because I wanted to play. So some things you can quit, some things you can't, some things you can kind of spend less time on. Uh, and then you can find enough time to practice. Now, what is enough time? Well, that will vary from person to person, depending on their situation. For me, it was, uh, I think I played three to six hours uh, almost daily during the period when I played the most. Uh, but what I've told my students uh, who asked me, how much do I need to practice? I've usually said, um, because I've found that the answer is that they play half an hour, not every day. I've said, okay, try 
at least doubling that, so you play one hour every day minus uh, weekends, so you take two days off. Because I actually think it's a good thing to take a day off now and again. Um, so play five hours a week. It doesn't have to be one hour every day. It can be two hours one day, half an hour the next, half an hour the next. You kind of so you get the math, so it's roughly five hours. It doesn't have to be five hours. It could be four and a half. It can be six. Um, but that way, when you start putting in kind of an hour a day, uh, you start noticing results. And what happens is that if you can play more, of course, but what happens is when you get results is. Uh, you build something that Steve Vai called momentum of enthusiasm. That makes it easier to play more. And then you'll notice uh, after a while, if you kind of, uh, if you keep playing and you keep playing and the momentum just builds, you'll find that you'll actually become serious about the whole thing. You'll become passionate. It will become a passion for you. And that's when you stop so you totally stop thinking about um, if you should play two hours or one hour or whatever. You start thinking in terms of how can I play four hours because I can play three hours, but then I need to do homework and I need to clean. I need to clean my room because mommy told me uh, or something like that. And you find ways to increase the time to three and a half hours, let's say. So you do your homework half kind of half astly, half acidly. Half. Well, you do it poorly. <laughs> uh, by the way, stay in school, kids. Um, or you don't clean your room and you just take your mother's anger when she comes home from work or whatever. Um, so you find more time for playing because that's basically what you want to do all the time. And what I did, I, was, I started carrying my guitar around to school. I even sat uh, during French lessons and played like some something like that like, <laughs> that was terrible uh, I started I sat playing stuff like that uh, scales and picking exercises because we had a French teacher who didn't want a confrontation and I was a bit stupid I well I finally realized that I have to do something in French to kind of pass the course but yeah that's what happens so if you have the question in your mind, how much do I need to practice to become good? Try turning it around into where can I get more time to play? Because that's all I want to do. And the way you do that is just maximize the amount of playing that you do. Give it a good month where you play five hours a week at least. And then you'll notice that it's become more fun, at least hopefully. <laughs> For some people, it never happens. But uh, yeah, try playing as much as you can and you'll turn the question around. So I hope you found that interesting. And let me know in the comments if you have some kind of uh, concrete um, time frame, like I said, one hour per day, five days a week for a month. At least I meant to say a month. Um, at least. And then you'll know. So let me know what you think, because that's not scientific evidence uh, on my part. I have, haven't read any studies on the subject. It's just my kind of gut feeling. Uh, and it might be wrong. So let me know in the comments. And we'll have a good old fashioned discussion on YouTube with loads of raving lunatics weighing in saying, you suck, you bearded. Almost said a bad word. Uh, rhymes with can't. I think. <laughs> and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And like I said, comments and support me on Patreon. Helps me make more of these videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification thing. And if you want the kind of meats, bones, potatoes, whatever it's called, of guitar playing, the technique, theory, whatever, all that stuff, uh, go check out my Guitar Academy. The link is in the description. So, I hope to see you in another one. I'll end by playing a bit more and bye-bye.